I like how Donnie's staff looks when you place it in the back. Look how great that looks. What's up guys, Sam, I'm back with a quick little video. So this is a, a different type of video, kind of. I ordered some bootleg figures from Amazon.com and this is from the TMNT Classic line. Now, I messed up because I thought I had my original TMNT Classic figures here. I don't. What a sucker. I, I don't know where they are. I think I put them in storage somewhere. A lot of you guys don't know that I'm putting stuff in storage because I plan on moving out um, this year, actually. So um, we're just going to unbox these anyways. I'll show you guys the packaging. They came like this. They didn't come with any kind of packaging whatsoever. They're called here. It says they're made in China. It's Chez Figuarts Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figure, 6.5 action figures. So you can see right there the description. I'll show you guys a close-up right here. But these are all four turtles. It would have been cool if they had the Bebop and Rocksteady as well in bootleg form. A lot of you guys probably don't know, they do sell a lot of bootleg figures on Amazon and they usually come loose. Like they sell a lot of Play Arts figures and some, me I think, Medicom figures uh, that are that are loose and really cheap. So just make sure you guys watch the review. But I had to do a review on these because they were only like $30 and I was like, let me just do a review and see if the quality is good in case for some people that can't afford the TMNT Classic line. So... Let me move the camera around and let's get started with the video. The little bimbo, I'll make you eat that camera. All right, guys, so let's get started here. We got all of the figures right here in the little baggie that they packaged it in. Um, so what we're gonna do is just slice this open. Now, you have to be careful with these because if you look at some of the reviews, they say on there that a lot of these figures break super easy. Okay, so they package them individually. Um, they don't look that bad whoa look at the articulation i think the paint apps on these might be a little off but oh man i'm so upset that i could not find my original ones um so yeah so they package these individually let's open up mikey first we'll take a look at some of look at the way he came oh yeah yeah you can tell right off of the bat that these are bootleg because of the paint apps the paint apps on these are like it's like a glossy color um i'm not even gonna bother messing with the articulation because I don't want these to break and, and his leg is just looks completely just off. okay there you go I fixed it all right so we got the base right here and you know what actually hold on a second I do have one classics figure here okay so what I have right here actually this is the movie figure this is a, a legit figure here this is the Raphael but let's take a look at the bases so you can see they look to be I mean, the paint apps on them are a little bit different, but I mean, this is the movie version, but they're basically kind of like repaints. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, see, there's no description on this one either. So like this one has the trademark and everything. The bootleg one doesn't. So just wanted to share that with the base really quick. Um, so he does come with his weapons too. So you got the nunchucks and it does have the metal chain. So that's pretty cool. These actually look, they don't look bad at all. And then we have Mikey and... You can, f oh yeah, you can feel it in the plastic on how these how these feel. Like, like you can tell these are, you can totally tell these are bootleg. You can totally feel it too. I'm not gonna mess with the articulation only because I don't want these things to break. But I mean, can you guys see the paint? Just how like off it really looks. I mean, overall though, it's not a bad looking figure. And then you have the holsters right here on the back for his, for his nunchucks. The head sculpt looks decent. You can see some little scuffs on there, though. I mean, probably because the way it was packaged. The arm, I cannot get it to go in and out. I feel like if I'm going to force it, it's going to snap. Yeah, this is a very tight joint. I mean, you can get it to bend. Is there finger articulation? No. Almost looks like there is. But, yeah, there's Mikey. So, it's not a bad-looking figure. He's got the peg holes in the bottom. He does come with the base. Let's open up. Let's open up another one here. Man, I remember I had Donnie, too, and I just put him in a baggie. All my TMNT classics, and I think I put them in storage. Um, whoa, look at his staff. This almost looks like a gray color staff. So, you got this is warped beyond. Let's see if I can get that to focus. This is very warped. All right, so there's that. He does come with a base, of course. So, there's his base here. It doesn't even say Donatello, it says Donatellic. <laughs> There's that in the bottom. And then we have, yeah, yeah, this is um, this is definitely a bootleg. I mean, you can tell off the bat, first of all. I mean, just by reading the description of people's comments, 
Um, one thing about this figure, though, the original one, the eyes were always, like, doopy looking. Uh, this one doesn't have that problem. It's got some weird paint app right there on the top right. Again, it's got that shiny paint on the front shell and then a shiny on the back. I don't remember it being like that. And the paint does look a little off in their skin tone colors. But, I mean, they're not bad in that knockoffs. The only thing is that you cannot get their joints to move. I mean, you probably could, but I'm going to break it if I try to force this out. And then you have his little strap here with the D. I think the other ones were removable too. So this one doesn't look like it's removable. It looks like it's all solid one piece because I remember my last Donnie, I was able to, or my original Donnie was able to remove the um, the belts. And then you got the, you know, the elbow pads, the purple padding and everything. So you got all that. Uh, let's next up, let's take a look at, let's see who we got here. So we got Leo. Where's his katana swords? All right, so here's his base here. At least they finished the name. And then we have him right there. These guys come so like messed up in the packaging as far as like the way they're positioned. Okay, so this one doesn't look that bad. Whoa, his neck is stiff. I cannot get that thing to turn. The head sculpt looks good. The paint apps look decent. But I mean, I cannot get this. Like the legs are really well articulated. Like they're very smooth. You can get the legs to move very very well it's and then same with like the torso but it's the arms that i'm having trouble with like you can get it to bend but you can't get it to move forward like i can look i feel like i'm gonna break that the head sculpt on on leo though is very very difficult to move you got the holsters in the back i don't remember this being blue and this is like this is already breaking off and the peg is like very very loose on here i don't know why they painted this blue that's not blue that's pretty crazy, but you have the sheaths there for his weapons. Um, speaking of weapons, he does come with his katanas. So you got two of these. Were these blue? I don't remember. Were the original ones blue? This is very warped, though. Um, you guys can let me know if the original ones were blue. So there's that. Um, not a bad-looking figure. It's just the joints on it are very stiff. My favorite turtle, Last. We share the same name. We both got Attitudes. Um, we have Raphael here. Let's see. All right. So he's got his size and there is some paint bleeding on the size. You can see on that. Where is it? There it is. So you can see the paint bleeding on there. And then there's the, the handles. So you got that. Um, there's some paint problems in the bottom of his base. They spelled the name right. Yep. I was going to say maybe they spelled it with an F, but you got the base there. And then we have Raphael. Let's see. Again, the legs are just completely out of whack whoa okay there we go it almost it almost feels like some parts of this guy are sticky okay look at this guy his head is completely turned let's see if we can turn his head without breaking it oh i got it all right okay um the head sculpt on him looks okay it doesn't look the greatest but it's not bad and again you can see the shininess of the paint apps on him I don't know. What do you guys think? They're not they're not that bad. And it's got the areas where you can put his his size too. Let's get them all lined up. All right, guys. So here we have all of the turtles lined up. Now, Mikey came with three nunchucks. I just saw this right now. He comes with three nunchucks. I guess that's pretty cool. Um, you can obviously tell these figures are bootleg. Again, with the paint apps, with how stiff the joints are for these guys i mean you cannot get them in art certain articulations i mean some of the paints just look weird like for leonardo they painted the wrap on the back um the mic the, the bases are not fully completed it's there's a lot of problems with these figures now if you're just looking to buy these just to display just like this and you don't care if they're bootleg because you can't afford the original ones uh, for 30 dollars, it's not a bad price but you're just not going to get these guys in articulated poses you're going to have to get them like this unless you really want to risk trying to move the arms and breaking it because um, it's it's just not going to happen. And like, for instance, I have one of the classic movie Raphael's here. They, they are supposed to have finger articulation. Uh, these ones don't. So they're not going to hold on to the weapons that great. You can They're kind of loose. And it looks like it did have like the way they sculpted it. It looks like they, they should have had articulations, but they didn't put the cut in it. So it, it does look a little weird. I mean, but other than that, it's, they're decent figures. They're decent at best. I mean, like I said, if you're just looking for figures just to have, just to display because you missed out on the TMNT Classics line, then this is something that you might want to pick up.
If not, whatever. I mean, don't get it. Um, what do you guys think? Your opinion on this overall. Again, I am sorry I did not have my classic figures here so I can do a comparison. But, I mean, still, you can tell right off of the bat, like I said, that these figures are absolute knockoffs. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Have you guys picked up any bootleg figures? Let me know down below. What bootleg figures did you pick up and why? Did you pick up a bootleg figure because you couldn't find or, or afford the original one? Let me know down below, guys. I really want to know your thoughts. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Later, guys. Don't believe. Awesome. Let's see. Bill's gonna kill you. Subscribe. Where are you going? You look like a nice boy. I bet you have a lot of friends. Thank you.